The causes and effects of flash floods and landslides in East Africa are complex and devastating. In this section, we will explore some of the main factors that contribute to these disasters, as well as some of the impacts they have on the people and the environment. One of the main causes of flash floods and landslides in East Africa is heavy rainfall. The region experiences two rainy seasons, a long one from March to May, and a short one from October to December. However, due to climate change, these seasons have become more unpredictable and intense, leading to more frequent and severe storms. For example, in May 2023, heavy rainfall triggered flash floods and landslides in parts of Rwanda and Uganda, killing at least 133 people and affecting thousands more. Another cause of flash floods and landslides in East Africa is river overflow. Many rivers in the region originate from high-altitude areas, such as the mountains of Ethiopia or the Great Lakes. When there is excessive rainfall upstream, these rivers can swell rapidly and burst their banks, flooding the surrounding low-lying areas. This can happen even if there is no rain locally, as the water can travel long distances downstream. For instance, in May 2023, the Sabaya River in Rwanda overflowed due to heavy rain in its catchment area, causing flash floods that destroyed homes and crops. A third cause of flash floods and landslides in East Africa is soil erosion. The region has a diverse topography, ranging from flat plains to steep hills and mountains. Many of these areas are prone to soil erosion due to deforestation, overgrazing, mining, or poor agricultural practices. When the soil is loose and unstable, it can easily be washed away by rainwater or slide down slopes under the force of gravity. This can create landslides that bury houses, roads, bridges, or power lines. For example, in May 2023, several landslides occurred across hilly Rwanda due to soil erosion exacerbated by heavy rain. The effects of flash floods and landslides in East Africa are devastating for both human and natural systems. Some of the effects include, property damage, flash floods and landslides can demolish houses, buildings, infrastructure, or vehicles, leaving people homeless or stranded. According to official reports, more than 5,100 properties were destroyed and another 2,500 partially damaged by flash floods and landslides in Rwanda in May 2023. Crop loss, flash floods and landslides can ruin crops or farmland, reducing food security and income for farmers. According to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, more than 15% of arable land in East Africa is affected by soil erosion, which can reduce crop yields by up to 50%. Flash floods can also wash away seeds or fertilizers, or contaminate irrigation water with pollutants or pathogens. Displacement Flash floods and landslides can force people to flee their homes or communities, creating internal displacement or cross-border migration. According to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs OCHA, more than 3 million people were affected by rain-triggered disasters across East Africa in 2019, with many of them displaced or in need of humanitarian assistance. Death Flash floods and landslides can kill people directly by drowning them or crushing them under debris, or indirectly by exposing them to diseases or injuries. According to official reports, at least 250 people died due to flash floods and landslides across East Africa in 2019, with about half of them in Kenya. In May 2023 alone, more than 400 people died due to flash floods and landslides in Congo, with many more still missing. In conclusion, flash floods and landslides are major hazards that affect millions of people in East Africa every year. They are caused by various factors such as heavy rainfall, river overflow, or soil erosion. They have severe impacts on human lives and livelihoods as well as natural resources and ecosystems. Therefore, there is an urgent need for more effective prevention, preparedness, response, and recovery measures to reduce the risks and losses associated with these disasters.